What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. Four fours challenge. So what the objective here is to use only these symbols, plus, minus, times, divide, factorial, radical, and parentheses, make numbers 21 through 30 using four fours. Now, the conditions are we cannot add in anything other than these symbols, no numbers, etc. And then, by the way, just to explain what a factorial is, a factorial is a multiplication countdown. So for example, four factorial equals four times three times two times one. Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So we're gonna start with the easiest one in my opinion, which is 24. So how can we get to 24? So we could put a multiplication symbol here, four times four is 16. Then we're gonna add four that's gonna get us to 20 and add another four as well. And by the way, when we're solving each of these different numbers, we wanna bear in mind order of operations. Next, we're gonna to go to 28. The way I'm gonna do 28 is I'm gonna put a factorial in front of the four. So again, four factorial is four times three times two times one. That is actually equal to 24. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add four, okay? So four factorial plus four, which is 28. Then I'm gonna minus four, which goes back to 24, add four, and that's how you do it. Next, we're gonna go to 21. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take four factorial. Again, four factorial is 24. Then I'm going to minus four because 24 minus four is 20. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the quotient of four and four. And by the way, four divided by four is one. That's how you get 21. Next, I'm gonna do something similar to get 29. So again, I'm gonna take four factorial, then I'm going to add four. That's gonna give me up to 28. And then last but not least, we're going to add the quotient of four and four. Once again, order of operations dictates that the division happens before the addition. So we'd have 24 plus four is 28, plus four divided by four, which is one, gets us to 29, boom, done. Next, we're gonna go to 27. Again, I'm gonna start with four factorial, and we are going to add four to that, which gives us 28. Then I'm gonna take the quotient of four and four, which is one, and I'm going to subtract it, right? So we have 24 plus four is 28, minus one gives us 27. Next, we're gonna do 22. I'm gonna start by multiplying four by four, that's 16. Then we're going to add four, that is 20. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the square root of this last four. Square root of four is two, because the square root asks the question, what times itself equals a number? Square root of four is two, of course. So once again, I have 20, and we're gonna add the square root of four, which is two, that gives us 22. Next for 23, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take four factorial, which is once again, 24. Then I'm going to take the square root of the second four. Remember, square root of four is two. I'm going to minus that, right? So we got 24 minus two is 22. To get to 23, I need to add one. I can turn four and four by division into one. Then we're gonna add that quotient and then we get 23. Now to get to 25, I'm gonna use something similar here. We're gonna take four factorial, which is once again, 24. Then I'm gonna take the square root of this four, which is two. I'm gonna add it to that factorial. 24 plus two is 26. Then I'm going to take the quotient of four and four, which is one, and we're going to subtract that from 26 to get us 25. Now to get to 26, we're gonna do something similar. I'm gonna take four factorial, which is 24. I'm going to add the square root of four, which gets us to 26. Then I'm simply gonna say plus four, minus four, 26, boom, done. And last but not least, to get us to 30, we're gonna start again with four factorial. Then I'm gonna take the square root of each of these fours. That's gonna turn them all into twos. And so if we're starting with 24, plus two is 26, plus two is 28 plus two is 30 for the win, done. Just wanna let you guys know that this is simply one way to get all of these numbers. There's probably numerous solutions and paths to victory, but this is how I'm doing it for the first time. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click that like button. If you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.